hey, 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 welcome to part four of our summer journey. We're now on our way to Yellowstone National Park. This is one of the highlights of our trip. It's taken us a long time to get here, but here we are. Let's go. So we're now in the east entrance of Yellowstone National Park. What you see here is Yellowstone Lake. Also, what animal you may see here are moose, deer, and here are elk. We're in Yellowstone National Park. We just saw some elk. Now we're at this thing. Uh, it's one of the big geysers there. What we see here is in Yellowstone National Park. These are some hot springs that they have. Here's one you can look at. Right here. And then there's another one. Yeah. Come here, Ruti. There's a little one right near us at our feet. You can see a bubble. Oh, oh. That's hot water. Hot water. It's hot water. What you see here are these superheated pools and then if you look out there there is the lake right next door which is really cold right next to these pools if you look at the water look how blue it is it's just natural this is a natural hot spring This is a lake that I was talking about. Okay, we're in West Thumb. This is where you have these uh, natural hot springs. And it looks like volcano erupted underneath the ground. Geysers came out, and that's why you have these hot springs. So we're now in the parking lot looking for our lodge. This is where we're planning on spending the night here at the park. This is our room that we stayed in at the park. As you see, it's very rustic, very standard, and of course, no frills.
So this is a convenience store right next to the lodge. As you see, there's a lot of opportunity to get souvenirs, t-shirts, magnets, and even something to eat right nearby. So this here, what you see is this is the mini mark that has your ready to eat food. Uh, they have no microwave in the lot. So the food that you can buy here is ready to eat food. And if you need to heat up the food that you buy, they have a microwave on hand. We're leaving the Yellowstone Park gift shop. And we're on our way to Old Faithful. What is that? It's a big geyser, it's supposed to be one of the biggest geysers in the United States. No bones. I said no bones. Don't pet you. <laughs> Yellowstone Park. We are at the famous Geyser Old Faithful. There it is, right there. Uh, I'm not sure when it's gonna take off, but we'll see. But if you look around. There's all sorts of other geysers too. There's ones here and here. So we're going to take a little walking tour and I'll just take you all the way around and you can see all the geysers. But this is the most famous one right here, Old Faithful. And if you look around, you see people on the benches and they're all waiting for it to erupt. There we go, it's erupting right now. So this is the main attraction why people drive miles and miles to get to Yellowstone National Park. So this is Old Faithful erupting and if you go to the hotel right near the geyser they actually say what time it's going to erupt. That's why the crowds are so large. beautiful countryside view and of course it's really smoky and this is a result of the superheated water uh, from these natural hot springs. What causes these geysers to erupt is they're called looping chambers that trap steam from the hot water. The escape bubbles from the trap steam heat the water column to a boiling point. And when the pressure from the trap steam builds up enough, it blasts, releasing pressure. And of course, what you have is an eruption. And then eventually the eruption will stop when the water cools from the boiling. This white film that you see on the surface is sulfur. You can see the boiling of the water and you can boil an egg. Uh, Yellowstone has had at least three such eruptions. The three eruptions were 2.1 million years ago 
1.2 million years ago and 640,000 years ago were about 6,700 and 2,500 times larger than the eruption in So we've been hiking for quite a while. We actually went to um, uh, Old Faithful, but we decided to take the hike and look at all the other geysers. So now we're headed back to the car to get some meat. <laughs> the experience was pretty good at Old Faithful. Um, I think the other geysers are probably a little more interesting because they're kind of spread out all over the place. Um, some were going up a little bit, but most weren't like really erupting. But it was a pretty cool experience and uh, something that I think people should at least see. That's good, that's good. And this is a uh, beef, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, beef. And then we're eating chicken. The um, Yeah, broccoli. We're in Yellow National Park, Yellowstone National Park, and we're trying some uh, cafeteria food. This I have here is the bison meatloaf. Come here. Hey. Hey. Tastes just like meatloaf. <laughs> you wouldn't tell if it's bison or beef or anything, but it's good. A little good. stale. Yeah, a little dry, but it's cafeteria food. You can't expect a lot from cafeteria food. You have your piece of bread. And then I got some mac and cheese as a side dish. Some mixed garlic. Noodle. Mixed, um, Asian garlic noodle dish. Beef. Uh, beef and broccoli and some vegetables in there. Hi, right, we were driving along the side of the road and we saw some bison right out there. But you don't want to get too close because there's a history of them. Uh, we're at Canyon Falls. Uh, this is a place in um, Yellowstone National Park. And this is what they call the lower ball. Take a look at the back there. That's what we're looking at. Pretty cool, huh? So we are going to be seeing the waterfall closer. Come walk with us.
we go. Follow us along on our next destination. We are going to be leaving this park before it gets dark. So this is the end of our video. We still have one more episode of our summer journey. Uh, we will be going to Salt Lake City, Utah and then Las Vegas. So don't forget to subscribe. If you like our video, please click like and please leave a comment. Bye for now.